For the past several million years, the Earth's climate has seen glaciers form and retreat many times. Species have shifted their ranges with the changing climate, sometimes by hundreds of kilometers. Today, the geographic patterns of where we find species are the result of processes played out over many millennia. Key questions to understanding the changes include, where were species found during past glacial and interglacial periods? As temperatures warmed, did species move continuously or through phases of movement and stasis? Did certain traits allow some species to move faster and farther than others? And how abundant were species through time? So far, ecologists have attempted to answer these questions using disparate data sources and lines of analysis. For example, distribution records can be used with ecological niche models to establish changes to a species range in the past. Fossils also provide a record of historical occurrence. And genetic data offers a powerful method for estimating divergences between past populations and the timing of biogeographic events. Each of these kinds of data and the methods used to analyze them have their own weaknesses as well as strengths. But there have been almost no attempts to formally integrate the findings from these different methods. In our new paper in ecography, we pose a grand challenge. How can biogeographers formally integrate different lines of evidence to answer fundamental questions related to how species responded to past changes in climate? After reviewing the state-of-the-art analyses for different categories of data, we propose a statistical method to integrate ecological niche models, pollen vegetation models, and genetic analyses. This kind of formal integration will help address the shortcomings of each type of data and will make the uncertainties more clear. The tool will help scientists better quantify where species were at different points in the past and why.